Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenogears. We're on the Goliath. We have an airship now. And we've just kicked Groff's ass. Hey, Ellie. That person wasn't aiming for me. Why? Yeah, in the last episode, I told you to go back and rewatch uh, uh, that battle if you hadn't picked up uh, something about Groff. That's what it was. Aw, oh, Master Rico, please don't be mad. It was just a joke. Master Rico, it's because you, because of you I am what I am. Come on. Shut up! Yikes! Ah, oh, Hammer's awesome. Doc, I don't know how to say this, but I've got a bad feeling. Are you thinking of that man in black? Thinking about him will not get you anywhere. First of all, it is not like you. It's not that. It's not like... It's like this feeling of uneasiness that I've had before. You too? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm getting a terrible feeling of deja vu. I feel like we're being watched. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh-oh. Bingo! Our information was correct. It's Kislev's. It's huge. It appears to be a... That's it, the Goliath! The one from the underground factory we've heard so much about. Crap, they're taking revenge. Bet they're going to bomb Bledovic. <laughs> Either way, no need to let him go so fast, right? Bart's alive! Yes! And he's gonna screw us over again. Gunner! Gun gunny! No! Bart missile! Fueling! It'll take 15 seconds from opening the hatch to engage the illuminator. Franz! I don't hear anything other than the surface wind, wind waves in our engine. Threat is minimal from looking at the radar and sonar. That's some leap. Here we go! Batcon! Batcon level one! It's like there, I thought he said Bartcon. Young master, what is happening? What was the alarm all about? Young master again? Battle stations, everyone. Surface navigation. Close the vents. Blow the main tank. Prepare for anti-aircraft battle upon surfacing. Just doesn't know when to give up. Y young master, the Gungany missiles. You need permission from more than half of more than half of the crew members to surface combat. Stand by with the anti-aircraft guns. Gunner, give me the trigger for the Bart missiles. Wait. Wait. That that doesn't look like sand. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Okay, I'm glad. Anyway, Seaton, is it okay? We're flying in such a large ship. But if Kislev or Ave finds us... We're fine. I thought I had picked a course over the sea. There are not many military units stationed out here. Even then, this thing is not something that will go down so easily. This cannot be right! Are we being attacked? You know, Seaton, you really should not open your mouth. It, it just always is a disaster. Enemies? I do not know. I did not think there would be sub they would be submerged here. Are we okay? Hammer certainly doesn't think so. I love Hammer back there in the background. Fortunately, there was no way we could avoid descending. We can avoid descending. Hey, Ellie, get out first. I will follow later. But we have no time for a debate now, Faye. Do you think you have the skills needed to keep the Goliath in the air as long as possible? Then hurry up and get out. Now then. And you too, Hammer. You are going too. 
y y y yes sir! Ah, quit dawdling! You're, we're going! Yes sir! Now, where did they... Uh, that ship! Sigurd, I think you need to rethink your method of disciplining. Well, that airship sure didn't last long. <laughs> That's the power of the BART missile! Even Kislev's prototype can't stand up to it. You jerk. Uh, hey. S stay back! K keep away! <laughs> And it's going down. Right into a collision course. Whee! Uh, maybe that'll teach you, Bart. Maybe that'll teach you. Somehow I doubt it, though. We have the coordinates of those recent dimensional vibrations. N24 E92 Ignis in the Lahan region, the Northeast Ocean. From the wave pattern, it's definitely a gatekeeper. There are no regular mainland flights. Could it be Shivat's awful aura? No, the mass is different. It's a much smaller pattern. I can't believe that the Lambs have a ship equipped with a gatekeeper. Probably is Kislev's. The last purge was not complete. Damn you! Shouldn't you pursue? What? The one who caused you so much pain and grief is on that ship. And it's headed for Aquavi. Put all the crew members on emergency alert. We're attacking the Kislev ship. We can't, Commander. We don't have orders from the capital yet. If we move from here... I don't care! I won't allow them to escape. I believe I already said your tricks will do you no good. I'm just trying to help. Didn't I help you get those shackles off? Now, you know the vessel will only respond to the Chosen One. They don't know this, but he's necessary for Carr. He's the very meaning of Carr's existence. Yes, I must thank you. After all, you did help me, didn't you? Was it for me? Or for him? Or for yourself? I love how they drop little bits of information that eventually becomes clear. We'll take the boundary between gates 1 and 2. It's the shortest way to Akavi. Fine. Message from Kelvina. Dominia is withdrawing in Haisho. She will pursue the aerial battleship. Oh, these jerks again. Disobedience, Ramses' orders are to excavate the animal relics in Ignis, and to watch over the lambs. What is he? We can recover the animal re relics any time. Moreover, we learned that he was on the transferred ship. Ramses was probably after him. So was the trauma. Nay, in this case, Negret, it was the severe external wounds. According to the memory cube, we found multiple subjects around him that possess the Animus Factor. Is it Sufradi, the subject of M Project? Yes. Coincidence? 
Nay, it is beyond that. They were either attracted to, to him or... Unexpectedly, it's developing into the same condition as 500 years ago. That does not rule out the possibility he planned it this way intentionally. The transfer point is Akami. It's near the Thames. Side note! Thames is an incorrect, uh, translation. It's supposed to be Tamas. Demuzi, for those familiar with Sumerian, uh, mythology. If it is Akavi, Krellian's headed that way. Krellian himself? What for? It seems they've found it. For over 4,000 years, he searched for Zeboim's legacy. Legacy? Is that the technology he was talking about? Yes. Molecular engineering. Nanotechnology. The land of all creations, the capital of Zeboim culture, resting beneath the ocean of Akavi. For 19 years, the ethos kept it secret. Is this acceptable, Kane? Yes, it will do for now. 19 years, that coincidence with the time when the Earth shifted. I really can't keep track of the voices I use for these guys. Indeed. But I don't understand, that technology doesn't seem that crucial to us. He is still a lamb. Giving him the ability to do as he wishes is questionable. There are times when, he, when even we do not know what he is thinking. Let it be. I will take responsibility for that. On another matter, weren't you all going to eliminate it? It's just by chance. It is probable the location is Ignis. Anyway, I never believed it would be eliminated so easily. The purge was a failure. This shall never happen again. If the Animus are together, it is all the more reason. Yes. Kane, why are you so concerned about it? To us, he is insignificant. He could only be a poison to us. It could never be a remedy. And Anelbe, you didn't still believe that, do you? You don't still believe that, do you? That is merely an illusion, not even an ideal. The result is what I am now. It is as you see it. Or rather, it is the emotion you have long forgotten. Cain, we are gods. Uh, some people think awfully highly of themselves, don't they? Uh, ooh. Where am I? I was with he with Faye, heading for the rear block. Faye, where are you? Where are you, Faye? I added a little bit much there. Oh well. There is uh. Rumble, rumble. Ellie, you are awake. Am I awake? What were you doing? I was looking around inside here. There's less than two days worth. Of what? Food. We're lucky we even found any. But where is everyone? Are we the only survivors? We gotta do something. I guess I'll go catch some fish. Faye! They're okay. What? They're okay. Doc, Rico, Hammer, everyone. They're all going to be okay. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, Faye. Keep telling yourself that. Hammer, Rico, wake up! Where are we? What is this place? Something smells. We are inside the ship of Bart and his crew. They rescued us after we were shot down in the Goliath. Who the heck are Bart and his crew?
Let us say they are bandits. Robbie now. Bart is our leader, though he is still a young man. A robber in this day and age? A man with an attitude. I like it. Do you want to start off by going to meet Bart? Hmm. You read my mind. I'm staying here. I'm staying put here. Uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna step away for just a moment. Sorry about that. Alright. So we got, uh, Seton and Rico, and they've managed to, uh, survive and are on Bart's ship. Which I guess means that Bart's ship survived, too. Whee! Let's see if there's anyone in here. Nope. down here? No, not really. I suppose we could go into the mechanic, into the uh, engine room. I wonder if the engine of our old sunken Yggdrasil is weeping in the deep sand. No, oh, she's resting there. We gotta believe it. Must be the best place for her otherwise. Oh, so this isn't actually the same ship. Well, the Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil sank. Fortunately, we were able to find this one. Whenever I work on this engine, I get this mysterious feeling. Like the ship is somehow related to the previous one. Strange, huh? Well, it's... Same li ship line. Kind of makes sense that it would be related. Alrighty. Up the stairs. Hey, Mason. My son. I, don't, I, can't, I can never remember exactly how it's pronounced. It's French. I'm terrible with French pronunciation. Oh, Dr. Izuki. I'm sorry to put you out so much. We, we should have stopped the young master. I am terribly sorry. Oh, my chronic lumbago has gotten worse since I hustled an ave. Uh, I guess that means you're not going to sell me anything. Shucks. I mean, seriously, I don't have 99 Omega Souls. I need more. I need my fix, man. I need my fix. Okay. That's enough of that. There's a safe point up here. I think I will make use of it. Oh, come on. There we go. Pretty sure we're on a new chapter, but we'll find that out later. What? Why am I? Oh, it's he's still saying the same thing. I guess we'll go upstairs. Go up the elevator. Well, if it isn't Dr. Seton Izuki and, uh, his very big friend. I see you finally woken up. I'm terribly sorry about what happened. Please forgive me. I have a name, you know. It's Ricardo Banderas. Everyone calls me Rico. So what are you apologizing to us for? Uh, I suppose I had better stop beating around the bush. I'm not usually this frank or apologetic, but, well... What he is trying to say is this people who shot us down, and the people who saved us, are one in the... one in the same? Or one in the... one in the same? This ship's crew. You don't mean... that Goliath which we were riding was shot down by. Yes, you're a bit slow there, uh, <laughs> big friend. Actually, our Drassel too, did a good job at shooting down that monster of an airplane. It was great! You should have seen it! Wow, my Bart missiles sure were awesome! Ah! I won't forgive you so easily. <laughs> I 
I knew it. I thought this thing was floating unusually. Wait, wait for it. Hold it! But even knowing that, there's... Watch the bottom. You little... But even knowing that, there's no way we can get them out, right? They're right under us, but covered by water in a thick wall. You little... It's probably Weltall and Vierge. For better or worse, they've stuck by us this far, but... Hold it! But they are useless now at this point. It appears our gears are underneath here, Faye, but we can't reach them. What are you doing, Faye? What am I doing? Can't you tell? I'm trying to catch a fish! This one's been jumping up and down right in front of me, trying to make me look like a fool. You little punk! I see you! <laughs> uh... Y you're not going to catch it and eat it, are you? If we don't eat, we're gonna die. Alright, I gotcha. Y you're joking! You'll get sick! You're not gonna eat? Let me see, we need something to cook it with. Hey, come on, stop it. I'm not going to blame you if you get sick and die. Don't worry, once it's in your stomach, it's all the same. I'm... I'm not going to... Faye, look there! What, did the fish get away? What are you talking about? It's still there. What the... That's... Flying orangey thingy. That's the thing I saw in the desert. It's flying a lot higher this time. It's Shivat. That's its usual altitude. Shivat. Where have I heard... Yeah, that's right. That weird masked man. He said my father was in its military. So that saucer is what Doc... And that masked man said was the country my father and mother lived in? Really? I wouldn't know. It's a country outside of the reach of Solaris. Shivat uses the same kind of barrier that Solaris does, so you can't reach it by conventional means. How can something that flies that high in the sky be a country? Yes, I don't blame you for being so surprised. It usually hovers over the region known as Yakavi Islands area. You probably saw it on some sort of special mission. That's why it was flying so low. Shiva. It's too high for us to hear. Maybe. Okay, every time I he see this scene where they uh, focus on Shiva from one group and come back down on the other group, Always makes me think of American Town. I'd sing the song, but I don't want to kill you all with my horrible singing. Ouch. I guess the BART missiles weren't such a good idea, huh? We were able to save you and your friends, Seaton. I wonder what happened to Faye and Ellie. I'm sure they're alive somewhere. And once again. Man. Sea breeze stings my eye. So this is what they call the sea. First of all, I have to apologize to those two. Okay, we gotta control Bart. We gotta go find Rico and uh, Seton and apologize to them. But we're gonna do that in the next episode. First of all, let's go see what uh, the chapter was called. Let's see his load. I believe we're on a new chapter again, actually, even. Uh, yeah, that was Escape Ignas. And now we're in a new chapter, and we'll pick it up in the next episode, as Bart has to go uh, swallow his pride and apologize to Seaton. See you in the next episode.